past and present, ensured Singapore's peace and harmony over the past 45 years. The parade will now witness the sharing of passion and commitment to national service by servicemen from past and present, as well as the bedrock support from their families, friends, and employers. It was tough. That intensity that I demand, regimentation, discipline, help it our breakfast. Our soldiers are now better equipped to carry out their missions. But one thing has to change, and that's the need for every man to do his best. We still train hard, but we are more efficient and focused in what we do. So for me, I always aim to do my best, whatever the exercise or mission. My husband serving in the police force is just an extension of his duties as a father and husband. Do I worry when he's on duty? Well... I always tell them, it's okay. My men and I receive very good training from the Singapore Police Force. My husband has served 22 years. He loves police work. And uh, for my children especially, I think they're very happy to brag that their father is a policeman. When you're patrolling at sea, you have to handle everything. My supervisor is like, giving me instruction and my officer is asking me for this. I'm the navigation system operator. When we make contact with another vessel, I have to identify it. It could be a ship straying off course or a boat carrying illegal cargo. We have to be sure because we are protecting Singapore's sea line of communication. I can see that he's very proud of what he does and I think it's quite cool. I'm very proud of him. put us through all sorts of things in our basic training. Because he's in SEDF, my son had to do things he never did before. Things he could never even imagine. What's going through my mind, of course, is a little bit of uh, fear, but my mentality was uh, there were many, many ventures before us going through the training. So if they could do it, so could I. It's a, it's a pride thing. In 2010, I volunteered to participate in Operations Blue Sapphire as part of an SCS effort to counter piracy in the Gulf of Aden. I served as an aircrew specialist on board a Super Puma. Sammy was away for two months. His department had to reassign his project. It was disruptive, but then again, we are proud to have someone from our firm serving the country in an overseas mission. I think it's crucial that our NS men are always operationally ready. Then, when they are called upon to do their job, we are confident that they will perform well. They actually pose a lot of challenges to us so that we become stronger people who are more confident about ourselves and able to break through our own mental barriers and able to challenge ourselves to greater heights. Some of my platoon mates have different backgrounds, or we speak different languages. But because of NS, we all learn to live and work together. It's a very Singaporean thing, and it has been like that since my father's time. Now when I see my son serving NS, I realize that the responsibility of defending the nation has been passed from my generation to theirs. And I hope to see this responsibility passed to his next generation for the future of Singapore.